Who is smarter, a dog or a wolf? Well, it's kind of an unfair question, because how can you say if someone is smarter than another one, right? I know a guy that went to high school with me and he was a genius. Actually, he's still a genius. He became a professor of, I think, physics or computers in one of the leading universities in the world, but I heard that he would still do weird stuff like rolling himself from his office chair from one room to a different room. And in high school, he used to take a straw, put it up his nose and into his ear, and he would blow. I really don't know why he was doing all of these weird things, but it doesn't take away from the fact that the guy is a genius. So who is smarter? Him becoming a physics professor or me, not a professor? The same thing can be asked about dogs and wolves, right? Dogs can do some things better than wolves and wolves can do other things better than dogs. You want to know what dogs can do better than wolves? Intro and let's begin. Let's start with a statement. Dogs are not wolves. I know it sounds obvious, but many people do tend to think of dogs as something that came out of wolves. That's not true. But what dogs do better than wolves? Well, they can stare. Why is that important? Why should we care if a dog stare at us or not? Because when a dog is staring at your beautiful face, he is actually trying to understand what your intentions are. He's trying to figure out if you're angry or if you're happy. And that's a very important distinction between dogs and wolves. Because even captive wolves will not do that. They will try to avoid staring at each other or staring at you. Because, you know, in nature, it might be thought as an aggressive manner. Now, if you go outside to the street and just start walking, staring at people, they might think you're weird, right? I mean, even between people, staring at a stranger is not a normal behavior. So a dog is not going to stare at a stranger. But if you are a part of the family, and if you are talking to your dog, your dog should be staring at you, trying to figure out what you mean. The same as if you're talking to your friend or someone in your family, they're gonna be looking at you, trying to read and, and kind of listen beyond what you're saying, right? Because language is more than just verbal. What else dogs do better than wolves? They usually don't try to kill you. If you think I should get a haircut, write it down below in the comments and I might decide that it's time. Probably not though. See ya!